Question 13 is about a cable. It's quite a weird one actually. It's saying that there's a, a long uniform steel girder of weight 22 kilonewtons. So in the middle it's weight 22 kilonewtons. Is being pulled by a vertical, so it's being pulled vertically by a steel cable with a certain tension in it, such that it is two meters above the ground. The length of the girder from one side to the other is 14 meters and it's obviously going to make an angle there to the ground and there's going to be a force pushing up from the ground on the cable. I'm going to call that S, the support force. So the first thing I'd do is, well the, the actual question says, sketch a free body diagram which we have just done. And then part B, calculate the tension in the cable at this position and the force of the girder. So we need to work out T and S. Well, this angle here, theta, if we needed to work it out, we could using trigonometry, but I don't think we need to because this all our forces are acting vertically. So what I'm going to do, I've got two unknowns, I'm going to take moments around one of these points, let's call it this one here A, so take moments about A, but anti-clockwise are going to match and balance the clockwise moments. So our anti-clockwise moments around A would be T, so T, now we need this distance here, but I'm going to just say, well, that distance, let's just call it distance D. We could work it out, but we don't actually need to. All right, so T multiplied by D is the moment around A of the anticlockwise moments. Now, the weight acts at this distance here. Now that is actually going to be D divided by 2. So we could say that is equal to 22 kilonewtons. So I'm going to put a thousand in for this one. Multiply by D divided by 2. So our tension, well you can see I've got D on both sides of the equation here. So I can actually cancel those. So equal to 22 kilonewtons divided by 2. 11 kilonewtons. Done.